Hey guys, hope you're alright. Welcome to My Way Tarot. So I'm just going to do a, a reading for you with the Radiant Rider Waite Tarot deck. Just shuffle the cards a couple of times, cut the deck and we'll get straight into the read, okay? Bear with us. One more. Thank you. Okay. Angels of Love and Light, what can you give for us today, please? What can you get for us? Messages. Okay, either you or someone that you're dealing with is yearning, um, to ha yearning for you, basically. They're yearning for you in their life. They're very bored, very emotionally unsatisfied with whatever is going on in their life. Nothing, uh, nothing seems to compare to you, it kind of looks like. Yep, you're the ultimate wish fulfillment for this person. We have the Nine of Cups. This person could be at a loss. Um, yeah, you may be in separation from this particular person or they're considering traveling forward to come towards you with the Three of Wands. You could potentially be dealing, dealing with a fire sign or a water sign currently. Um, they may be feeling at a loss without you right now. That's why they're yearning to have something with you. Okay. Wow. Okay. Okay, this is interesting. Um, so we have the Eight of Cups, so potentially you or your person, um, there may have been some sort of um, abandonment of the connection, maybe somebody emotionally um, abandoned the connection, potentially you're at a distance from each other, that's why there's the particular yearning, maybe they're yearning for you if there had been some sort of situation to do with ghosting, okay, bottom of the deck, this person, um, Basically, they they have a, a lot of feelings for you. Yeah, you're their sunshine, their happiness. We've already kind of said that you have their kind of wish fulfillment. Broke up the deck, we have the sun. Um, could definitely be dealing with a water sign or a fire sign that I'm getting very strongly, or even another Leo or a Leo. Okay, what have we got here? Two of Swords. Yeah, so this person may have been um, been on the fence Maybe they ghosted you, maybe they were on the fence to do with a previous decision about what was actually going to give them the wish fulfillment. They're trying to manifest you back into their life so that they can give you this particular truth, which is going to be very sudden, that they actually want to reconcile and temper the connection, but potentially they've been stuck in devil, devil energy or lower vibrational energy. Um, they could be wanting to come forward with an offer, but have a lot of negativity in coming forward with this particular offer. So they're up at night stressing about how to come forward towards you and therefore they're wanting to actually heal the connection with you and they're gaining this clarity of truth yeah this person's feeling heartbroken or they either broke your heart and that's why they want to manifest some sort of new connection back between you um they have their desire to actually move things forward with you they want to bring balance back in but potentially you've been healing from this particular connection we've got two fours here gaining your stability you may have gained the truth that this person may have ghosted you previously or abandoned the connection or potentially um, you may have emotionally left because you gained some sort of wisdom. Maybe there was a lot of conflict, um, a lot of stress. Potentially you've definitely moved on or they definitely moved on. Yeah, because there was a lot of delays with the hangman. You know, this is kind of enlightenment with the fact that you've had to wait around or the person you've been dealing with is waiting around. Um, for a reunion to occur in your life okay yeah this person has a lot of feelings for you they love you um, and they definitely want to heal the connection I'm really getting that yeah give you this clarity and truth potentially there could be a third party involved somebody else wanting to get into the mix that could potentially provide you with stability um, or maybe it's the same person trying to organize their finances so that they can actually come forward to you uh, towards you emotionally but also in a material um, sense as well yeah this person may send you a message or potentially they may have been a little bit immature um, maybe potentially childish in a sense if they took a long time to make a particular decision about coming forward towards you um, maybe they feel they've kind of left it too late to come back and heal this connection to give you their um, to give you their love. They want a brand new beginning with you. What else? One more card, please. 
I think we're getting here. Yeah, this person wants to stand up for you in the connection, though. But you may be a little bit defensive if they were to come back, if there had been any upset. Yeah, look at this. They see you as the empress. They see you as abundant. They see you as beautiful. They see you as someone who um, potentially... Um, yeah, look at you. <laughs> look at this. Empress and then Queen of Wands. You, you are very much in your power. That's why this person is kind of being stressed out potentially about wanting to come forward towards you because you are incredibly confident. And look at this. Strength, energy. Oh my goodness. That's why they want to come back. Potentially with a higher level of commitment. Bring balance to the situation. They see you in your power. They see you in your strength. They know how resilient you are. Um, and then, yeah, they want to heal the connection with the star energy. I want to get an extra card on why this, why there's been so many delays or um, confusion about coming forward. This person may have thought it was a difficult choice to potentially leave a situation with you in the past. But yeah, I kind of got the sense that there was drama. Maybe they lied. Maybe they betrayed you in a particular way. That was incredibly stressful, so you had to leave the connection. I'm getting the sense that also there may have been some sort of... Um, uh, I'm just, I'm just getting, I'm just getting a lot of stress, a lot of drama, yeah. And then we have heartbreak with the three of swords. So this person, you know, broke your heart in a sense because they just, you know, they may have tried to be in another situation which best suited for them, but now things are changing around and they're realizing that they actually have stronger feelings for you, and they want to come forward and tell you this truth but they could be dealing with another situation or stuck in fear. But you could be potentially dealing with a divine counterpart here with the emperor and the empress. Um, so that's very much what I'm getting as well. And I'll take one more card for, um, actually I'm gonna take a card for you for this empress energy because you're just sitting here kind of, you know, you're just getting on about your day as it were. Yeah. Queen of Pentacles, you know exactly your worth now with the Queen of Pentacles energy. Somebody who is um, also very resilient, very grounded, you know, yeah, with the full energy, bottom of the deck. You, you're not chasing after anything. You're, you're just sitting here kind of letting things come to you. If somebody wants to come forward towards you, you're letting them. They, they've got to put the effort in. They've got to send the message. They've got to reach out with a bit of communication so that they can come forward towards you, because this is also pre-Empress energy, to have this reunion, okay, broke up the deck, yeah, to give you this truth, to give you this truth that they want to have some sort of new beginning with you, and that if they were to come forward towards you, they need to give you the truth, but also to be, um, they're most likely going to be very loyal in this love to you, eventually, after all this other kind of stuff um, plays out. Actually, one more card, actually, for the King of Cups, and then it could be another person, could be the same one. What's this King of Cups about? And then we'll close off the read. Oh, my gosh. Do you see that? Okay, King of Pentacles. We said that earlier, didn't we? This person's trying to get their material world and also their emotional sen sense together so they can come forward towards you. But until they get that together, they're only just going to watch you for now. Yeah, before they get gather the confidence to come forward towards you, to give you an evil, equal give and take, and then finish off um, the cycle successfully, potentially, with a higher level of commitment and someone following their heart, wanting to um, bring more foundation stability into the connection. But they hurt you, or either you hurt them, or they're going through a very painful cycle in their life right now, so that's why they can only watch you, okay? So um, I hope you enjoyed the read. Um, thanks for watching and we'll speak to you soon. Thanks. Bye.